Maka's Guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here. Welcome to my Guitar Hero Live review. We're starting off with a video of me because we're talking about the guitar. I thought I would show you it versus just talking about it. Now, the guitar, in my opinion, is very well built, very high quality. It looks stylish. Again, that's a personal preference. The distance from the frets to the strum bar is perfect for at least someone of my shoulder size. And it works and it registers the notes. Like I said, decent build quality, in my opinion, and it's lightweight. There's also some adjustments here for those who haven't played rock band in a long time. The whammy bar is comfortable. We have some notes here. This is the directional pad. You actually push this button to use the D-pad. Uh, there's this bar, which is the star power. So instead of having to rotate the guitar, you can also press this if for whatever reason you're in a position that doesn't allow you to do that. Now, like I said, there are some changes, most notably in the Guitar Hero series. Sorry about that. Uh, there are six buttons now instead of five and they're completely differently laid out. So we have three buttons, the black buttons in the top, and three buttons, the white buttons on the bottom. That uh, actually has a lot more combinations. You can actually do open strums as well, which is just a line, and you're gonna strum without hit, uh, actually touching any of the notes. There's a lot of weird combinations, and overall, this adds a lot of cool gameplay dynamics, in my opinion. Uh, Guitar Hero veterans, so like myself, I'm, a lot of people are probably curious, have you played Guitar Hero, are you a noob? I've played Guitar Hero a lot, I've played a lot of Guitar Hero 2 and 3, I have basically 5 starred like every song on Expert other than like Through the Fire and Flames, and I would consider myself a veteran of the series and a decently skilled player at it. And the guitar playing feels very similar but very different for someone like me. Uh, there's a lot of like brain stuff that happens as you're trying to read the notes and there's this thing where your brain's trying to tell your hands what to do and for veterans it can be a little hard because your pinky's gonna want to get in there, it doesn't have to get in there. Uh, there's a few combinations where you have like black notes and white notes on the same kind of line and it's gonna be a different kind of angle you're holding your controller than what you might be used to. There's like, you're gonna be doing a lot of new movements with your fingers you've probably never done before. But with that being said, you should have an advantage to someone who's never played any Guitar Hero at all. I imagine that people that are completely new to the series will be uh, a little bit on the uh, downside in terms of learning how to play this game. Personally, I was able to go up to the advanced setting within like three to four hours. And now after about 10 to 12 hours, I'm playing on the expert setting for most songs that don't have a crazy solo in them. Now, uh, a lot of people are gonna be wondering, how does this guitar connect to your console? You'll actually notice, number one, whoops, uh, the guitar has no buttons on it that would indicate it is an Xbox controller in any way. I think all of these controllers might be the exact same controller, and I should have tested this, but I could probably plug this into my, into my PC and it would maybe get registered as a game controller. Uh, but this might even be the same as the PlayStation 4 controller. No idea. Uh, you're going to connect this USB dongle into your console. Press the button. It's going to connect. Now, if you have two guitars, you're going to have two dongles. And if you want to also sing along, you're going to need a microphone, which Activision sent along with the review copy of two guitars and the game. And it came with like $10 of credit for the mini store thing we'll get into later. Now, the microphone they sent me, it didn't work, so I didn't use it. They sent me a little tripod, that was cool. Again, the microphone itself didn't work, so I had to go to a Rock Band 4 microphone that I got with Rock Band 4, obviously. It worked, but it obviously is worse quality than the one they sent me. It didn't really register that well with the game, and singing on its own wasn't very, like, useful. Also, if you're going to be using two guitars and vocals, you're probably going to need a USB hub that has more than two USB slots because your Xbox only has three total, and you're probably already using one of them for a hard drive, wireless uh, play and charge kit, or something else. So yeah, keep that in mind. So with all that out of the way, we're going to get into the meat of the review. I'm going to put some gameplay on the screen. <laughs> So I've already said that I think the guitar is very good and that the new button layout adds for new dynamics, but none of that would be of any use if the game didn't have good modes and a good set list. Now there's two main modes, there's Guitar Hero Live, which is basically the career or tour mode, where you go through a journey as a guitarist in a variety of bands in front of a live audience. Now you'll see that gameplay on screen, it's pretty cool when you start doing badly, the audience starts booing you, throwing bottles at you. When you're better, you they start cheering for you and like rocking out, and it's pretty cool, the set list in the career mode is quite cool and good as well in my opinion there's a pretty big variety i really 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 like the set list in this game but it's not going to be for everyone the set list is a little bit of like pop rock there's also going to be like Katy perry rihanna in there there's Fall Out boy and blink 182 a little bit more of that punk rock there's even like Eminem rap as well as like Linkin Park rap. There's even like Skrillex in there. So there's really good variety, 
but there's not like that many classic rock anthems. It's mostly going to be pop rock and stuff that's a little bit newer that people sing along to nowadays. If you hate modern music, you might not like the set list in this game, even though there is a pretty decent variety. Now, more or less, Guitar Hero Live mode is basically exactly what you expect out of a career mode in Guitar Hero. You play certain concerts in order to get a certain amount of stars. If you do well enough, you unlock more concerts and get more stars until you unlock all of the songs and unlock all of the stars on whatever difficulty it is that you enjoy playing. It's pretty basic, but like I said, the set list, in my opinion, is pretty good, so I enjoyed that mode. But where I had a lot of fun was in Guitar Hero TV mode. Now, GH TV mode's a little bit tough to explain, so bear with me, but basically it's an online collection of music videos that you can access at any time as long as you're online. There are like TV channels where you play whatever is on the channel, and that's completely free. There's also on-demand songs that you can play using play credits. You use your currency to buy more plays. You can also customize your note highway, your guitar, and your power-ups. But basically, imagine this as a DLC library where instead of buying the DLC, you can play it using little play credits. But the play credits are actually really easy to attain, at least through my experience. I was given 10. By the time I finished with my original 10, I had 23. By the time I finished with those 23, I had way more than enough money to buy more plays. There is microtransactions tied into this, but I think as long as you don't overdo it and as long as you don't like fail out of every song, you should have enough credits to be able to use this mode without many issues and rarely paying for additional plays. Now, if you play a couple hundred songs, there might be the chance you'll need to put in five, ten dollars into this mode to continue playing some of the on-demand songs. But the set list in GHTV is like the best set list I have ever seen in my life. It almost blew my mind. Everything's here. There's stuff for literally anyone and everyone. You have System of a Down, Paramore, you have the Stacy's Mom song, there's Weezer, there's like everything you can imagine. I went down the set list and if I wanted to play every single song that I personally knew, I'd probably be playing 50 or more songs, which is very hard to say about the Rock Band series right now whose set list I know one or two songs off. The GHTV set list is really good. You'll know most of the songs on there as long as you listen to like somewhat recent music and your friends will probably know those songs as well, which is always useful as your friends can drop in and play at any time as long as there's a second controller. They can also plug in their microphone and play on vocals, which I've tested and it kind of works, but it's not really great. We had a lot of frustration testing the vocals. They weren't working how we wanted them to work. So keep in mind the vocals, they don't work that well, but they're there if you really want them. Now, are there any problems with Guitar Hero Live? Yes, there are a few. Hammer can be impossible to see if you're in overdrive when you're in overdrive the notes have a blue surrounding around them the problem is the notes also have a blue surrounding around them when it is a hammer-on so if you're looking at hammer-ons while you're in overdrive you can't tell if it's a hammer-on or not and that's stupid also calibration can be a bit tough I had issues getting my game calibrated and then when it was calibrated it seemed like it uncalibrated itself every time I would like play a new song or log in and log out of my Xbox it was weird like that also the notes on the track seemed to be designed more for gameplay than realism I found myself playing notes that didn't make sense to the tune of the track they're very very fun tracks but they're just not realistic in terms of actually playing guitar which is i mean up in the air uh other than that the game is really good i had a lot of fun i think this is a huge surprise i really enjoyed myself and i would recommend this game i haven't played it enough to be like definitive but maybe i've helped you if you're on the fence and not sure i really really enjoy this game as a guitar hero veteran and as someone looking to get back into guitar hero this is a great game and flawless in comparison to rock band three uh, rock band four rather which I think had a terrible launch and had a lot of problems. This game does a lot of things right, even though there are some issues, especially for hardcore, hardcore players. Also, one last thing that drives me absolutely insane. Why the hell does this game have odd valued achievements? Don't do that shit in our games. Thanks. Peace.